Chapter 165 Battle Yanyun Wang Shan, however, was indifferent as he glanced at Wang Fei and said in a cold voice, Rely on. He's not my reliance. One day I will kill him with my own hands. The crowd heard this and became more and more puzzled. What kind of hatred do these two brothers have in the end, surprisingly? One let his brother die or live without caring, and the other even wanted to behead his own younger brother. It is really everyone is becoming more and more puzzled. Ha ha ha, Wong Fei. It seems that I'm going to get rid of a scourge for you this time. Later on that spirit gathering fruit, you shouldn't be able to collect my spirit stones, right? Li Yuan belaughed. That spirit gathering fruit isn't mine anymore. Your matters don't have the slightest relationship with us. Wang Fei indifferently stood aside and said indifferently. Li Yuanba smiled grimly and walked towards Wang Shan, his icy voice resounding in the square. Kid, in your next life, you should be clear that not everyone is someone you can offend. Li Yuanba smiled morosely as a powerful aura tightly locked onto Wang Shan. Feeling this huge oppressive force, Wang Shan immediately trembled. His heart continuously cried out, Brother Kang Chion, if you don't come out I won't be able to support myself anymore. Seemingly hearing Wang Shan's cries, a cold voice rang out from the crowd. Li Yuanba, I advise you to better think clearly before you make your move. This time, there is no Li family to protect you from behind. With the sound of this voice, a purple-clothed youth walked out from amongst the crowd, and it was none other than Kang Chion. At that moment, a clamor rose in the square. It turned out that Wang Shen was not without dependents. This purple-clothed youth was the person behind him. Listening to Kang Chion's icy words, Li Yuanba's body shook violently. Then his eyes looked towards the purple-clothed youth who slowly stepped out of the crowd, and his eyes instantly shrunk. At this moment, the gazes of everyone in the square looked towards that purple-clothed youth who stepped out of the crowd their gaze is filled with incredulity. Sixth level of the Jidan stage. This was the first impression that Kang Tiong gave to the crowd. What made such a low-level cultivator dare to make such a wild statement in front of Li Yuanba? The crowd could not help but be puzzled for a while. Wang Fei, on the other hand, looked at Kang Tiong with a curious expression on his face, his eyes flashing inexplicably. It's him, not far away. Yen Yun was the one who violently stood up. A stern light shooting out from his eyes, his two fists clenched at once, and an intimidating murderous aura emanated from his entire body. He remembered very clearly that the image that came from the red flame wheel was that of a purple-clothed youth, and it was this person in front of him, Kang Tian. Li Yuanba gritted his teeth, his eyes incomparably resentful, as he stared at the purple-clothed youth slowly walking towards him. He could never forget this enemy who had defeated him in public. Listening to Li Yuanba's words, Yan Yun, who was not far away, had already determined that the person who had killed his brother was this purple-clothed youth in front of him. And immediately, his eyes narrowed, and a cold murderous aura shot out at first glance from the slits in his eyes. Wang Shun finally sighed in relief when he saw Kang Chon appear. He handed the spirit gathering fruit to Kang Chon. Then he stood behind Kang Chon, coldly scanning the crowd. Well done, Kang Chon nodded. Then coldly looked at Li Yuanba and faintly said, Ninth level of the Jidan stage. Your cultivation has progressed quite fast. What? Do you want to wash away the shame of being defeated by me? But you'd better think it over. This time I won't be merciful. Hearing this the crowd was shocked. Li Yuanba had actually been defeated by this person. No wonder this person was so calm. Wang Fei and Yan Yun's eyes also shrunk when they heard this. They were well aware of Li Yuanba's strength. This person was able to defeat Li Yuanba. This was definitely not to be underestimated. Kang John, when I lost to you at the sixth level of the Jidan stage, now that I have reached the ninth level of the Jidan stage, you may not be my opponent. Li Yuanba said with a cold face as he sniffed. The crowd sniffed and realized that this was the case. Yan Yun breathed a sigh of relief. Then his eyes grew more and more sinister. 
since Kang Chon was able to defeat Li Yuanba at the same level. His talent was obvious, so he absolutely could not let him grow up, otherwise he should not take his revenge. Kang Chong coldly looked at Li Yuanba and faintly said, You are quite confident, but you are still not my opponent. If you don't believe me, you can try. After saying that, Kang Chong gazed at Li Yuanba as a powerful aura rose to the sky. Kang Chong just had his hands behind his back. His gaze was ice cold as he looked at Li Yuanba. But that aura had already caused everyone in the arena to change their faces. Even Wong Fei and Yan Yun were filled with gravity. Li Yuanba's face sank. He narrowed his eyes and stared tightly at Kang Chong. His fists in his hands clenched tightly. His heart was filled with killing intent. He really wanted to fight with Kang Chon this time, to wash away the shame from the beginning. But he didn't dare, because that battle let him see Kang Chon's powerful strength. So far, he didn't have the certainty of defeating Kang Chon. Not to mention that he saw that Kang Chon even raised another layer of cultivation in such a short period of time. Ninth level of Jiden stage versus sixth level of Jiden stage. If it was someone else, Li Yuanba would definitely have absolute confidence in defeating the other party. But if the opponent was Kangshan, he wouldn't have that confidence. The two people just stared at each other. Finally Li Yuanba let out a cold snort and said, Kang Tian, I will kill you sooner or later, but not now. Cherish your next time. The crowd heard a burst of disappointment, but they were also very surprised that Li Yuanba had retreated. This had to be said to be a miracle. Could it be that this purple-clothed youth called Kang Chan was really that powerful? Ha <laughs> ha, I am always welcome. Kang Chan laughed coldly. Li Yuanba coldly sat on the sidelines and said no more, only that the killing intent in his heart became stronger and stronger. Let you live for a few more days first. When you enter the Yuanying stage space, that's when you die. Li Yuanba thought spitefully in his heart. This time, the Nine Princess had arranged the extermination plan. The purpose was to decapitate Kang Zhan in the Yuanying stage space. That was why Li Yuanba endured at this moment. Kang Zhan did not continue to pay attention to Li Yuanba. He turned his gaze towards Wang Fei. A trace of doubt flashed in his eyes. Then he faintly said, I heard that you have a third transformation golden pill. Wong Fei's eyes shrunk at the words. Then he blandly said, What? You want it? In fact, he already knew Kang Chon's answer. 100 extreme spirit stones, Kang Chon said indifferently. This was all the extreme grade spirit stones he had. Wong Fei's face sank as he heard this, his eyes glaring at Kang Chon. 100 extreme grade spirit stones. Was this possible? Kang Chun similarly gazed at him. There was not the slightest fluctuation in his eyes. But that conviction already said everything. He was determined to get this third transformation golden Dan. Kang Tian. Right at this moment, a voice that was called to the core came out. Only to see Yen Yun, who was not far away, fiercely stand up, instantly appearing in front of Kang Chun, a layer of scorching flames, shrouding his entire body like a fire god, exuding an incomparably huge aura. Kang Tian frowned as he looked at him, his face still incomparably indifferent, not caring in the slightest about Yan Yun's aura. Did you kill my brother? Yan Yun said as he glared fiercely at Kang Tian, and although it was in an inquiring tone, that icy cold look already said it all. There was an outcry in the arena. Some time ago, they had heard that someone had killed Yan Yun's younger brother, they just hadn't thought that it would be this violet-clothed youth. Li Yuanba was also surprised. Then a hint of gloating flashed in his eyes, and Wang Fei on the side also looked at this scene with a cold smile. Kang Tian hadn't thought of deceiving him, and said lightly at his words, If your brother is called Jian Shan, then it was indeed me who killed him. Good guts, you killed my brother and still dare to appear in front of me. Killing intent erupted in Yan Yun's eyes, and the flames on his body were like a scorching pillar of light that instantly rushed towards the Kang Dome. Kang Chong gazed at him coldly, then smiled coldly and said, Since you want to avenge your brother's death 
and I also need that Sheridan son of yours, strike. Without waiting for Yen Yun to reply, Kang Chon had already taken out his long black blade. The icy cold body of the blade blossomed with a harsh cold light at this moment, and the temperature around him instantly lowered a lot. After killing my brother, you still want to snatch my relics, ha ha ha, arrogant, what arrogance. This is the first time I, Yan Yun, have met someone how arrogant you are. Today it's either you die, or I die, red flame wheel. Listening to Kang Chon's words, Yan Yun laughed back in anger as he shouted loudly, and a huge flaming giant wheel appeared behind his back. It was precisely the same low-grade treasure artifact that Yan Chon had used back then. It was just that this treasure weapon exerted an unrivaled power in Yan Yun's hands. A trace of gravity appeared in Kang Chon's eyes. Unlike Yan Chon, Yan Yun had formed the Nine Revolutions Jindan, and his own cultivation surpassed him by three levels, coupled with an inferior treasure weapon. Even if he had reached the sixth level of the Jindan stage right now, he had to treat it with gravity. The difference in cultivation is still too much. If I am at the seventh level of the Jidan stage now, then there's no need to use the long black blade at all to deal with him. Kang Chon's eyes flashed with confidence. However, at this moment, after obtaining the spirit gathering fruit, it was only a matter of time before he advanced to the seventh layer of the Jidan stage. The Dan Emperor had given him the news that he would be able to refine the third transformation, Golden Pill in a month's time. If he were to cultivate normally, Kang Chon was afraid that it would take a year to advance from the sixth level of the Jidan stage to the seventh level of the Jidan stage, but the three transformation Golden Pill was a saving of so much time. It seemed that cultivation still required the cooperation of pills. Between thoughts, the opposite side of the Yan Yun had already turned into a hot flame pounced over. The red flame wheel on top of his head emitted an incomparably fiery light, and the air around him was burned to a snorting sound. The red flame wheel erupted with an incomparably blazing light under his full infusion of true essence, as if it was a sun that shone with 10,000 rays of light. Burning sky scorching flame, Yen Yun suddenly let out a cold cry and the huge flaming giant wheel violently suppressed down, the powerful force causing the surrounding space to tremble as if it was about to collapse. There was also that supreme temperature that seemed to melt everything. Kang Chan's complexion was frozen, the black long sword in his hand was flipped over, and golden true essence was instantly infused into it, and then it was raised high, and a blazing light instantly erupted on top of the black long sword. It's that movie Li Yuomba in the distance was staring closely. At first he was defeated under broken sky, and still recalling it, his face was full of gravity. Wong Fei was also staring at the situation in the field. When experts like them fight, it's often a single blow that determines the winner. Broken sky, as Kang Chong's eyes turned cold, a powerful idea came out through his body, and then transformed into a huge pressure that suppressed Yen Yun, who was rushing towards him. At this instant, Yen Yun felt his body sink violently as his face changed drastically, 30% intent. He himself had comprehended 20% of intent, so he instantly sensed the extent to which Kang Chan had comprehended intent. Under the pressure of the 30% intent, Yen Yun's body that had rushed out was instantly stalled, and by the time he reacted, an incomparably blazing blade had already broken through the air. Like divine punishment, the brilliant blade aura carried a surging energy fluctuation, like a huge wave rolling up in the sea, before turning into a ferocious torrent that rushed in. Ah, Yen Yun couldn't think too long as he completely erupted the full power of the red flame wheel, transforming into a blazing sun that collided with the radiant blade aura. Boom. A terrifyingly loud sound rumbled in the sky and quickly spread out. That terrifying energy, transforming into a sharp stream of air, raged continuously throughout the space and the surrounding earth trembled. Kang Chon slashed out with a sword and his arrogant figure stood on the square, 
coldly gazing at the blazing mass of light in front of him. 